Hey, what's going on guys? Let's look at this problem right here. Here this question is asking the edge length of the titanium unit cell is 3.28 angstrom. Using a body centered cubic structure, what is the atomic radius and density in gram per centimeter cube of titanium? Okay, so here the qu question is asking for the atomic radius and the density. Now let's see how we can find out atomic radius. But before we go for this one, we have to know the structure of body centered cubic structure. Okay, for a body centered cubic structure, it's going to look like this. Let's draw the diagram. Okay, body centered cubic structure. We are going to have a cube like this. And for a body centered cubic structure, there, are, there is a big atom in the middle. There is a big atom in the middle and every corner has one eighth of the atom okay let's draw it much bigger and every corner has one eighth of the atom so i am interested in finding the distance from this corner to this corner because that's going to help us to relate the radius with the h length h length is x and the radius for this one the one in the corner is going to be r distance from here to here and the one in the middle is going to be 2r since the radius is r the diameter is going to be 2r and for this one it's r so from this one you can see from this corner to this corner the total distance is 4r okay we need this one because we are going to relate this one in order to bring an expression for a h length in terms of radius because we are interested in finding the radius so we have to connect that one because they have provided the h length so we have to make the connection with radius and h length in order to solve for radius now let's draw another cube okay to see what's going on clearly so here we have clear here we have another cube okay so this is our cube right here okay so from here to here this distance is x that's the edge length and from here to here this length also x because this is a cube the length is going to be same everywhere the width I mean length with height is going to be x and if you look at the diagonal of this one let's call this one L and from this one because since this is a cube this is going to make 90 degree right so L is going to be equal to x square plus x square and uh, we are interested in finding that this this distance we want to find make a connection with radius with this distance from here to here right so let's make another triangle this one and this one so this is x since the length length with height is going to be same everywhere for a cube this is also x and this is l the mid one is l and let's call this one d so from this one this is also 90 degree so from this one we know that d square is going to be l square plus x square therefore l square we already found out that is x square plus x square and we already have another x square so this is going to be another x square right here so 3x square is equal to d square okay therefore d is going to be equal to square root of 3x and we already found out d is equal to 4r because from this corner to this corner the total distance is r plus 2r plus r 4r for a body centered cubic structure so instead of d we can replace 4r 4r is equal to square root of 3x therefore r is going to be equal to square root of 3 over 4x we need this one in order to calculate the radius because we need we know the h length that is x that's given so we can find the radius using this equation okay let's go ahead and find that one r is equal to square root of 3 over 4x now uh, before I go for this one it's better to convert this angstrom into picometer it's always better to give this one in picometer and we have to know that one Armstrong one Armstrong is equal to 100 picometer okay so here we have 3.28 Armstrong and if we convert this one into picometer we have to multiply this one by 100 that's going to give us 328 picometer so x is going to be equal to 328 picometer so this is the h length we are interested in finding the radius 
radius can be found using this equation r is equal, r is equal to square root of 3 divided by 4 times the h length that is 328 picometer and if you multiply you are going to get you are going to get 142 picometer so that's going to be the radius okay so that's the answer for the first one and the second one is asking what is the like the second one is for asking for the density in gram per centimeter cube okay now let's get rid of these things okay let's get rid of this and this okay I need the radius value because we are going to use that one so let's bring that one back okay that's enough let's go ahead and solve for the density and we know that density is equal to mass divided by the volume okay here it's easy to find out the volume but uh, let's see let's look at the mass and for a body centered cubic structure there are two atoms per cube like for there are two atoms per unit cell let's see how it is if you draw the body centered cubic structure let's say this is our body centered cubic structure in each corner we have one eighth of the atom one eighth of the atom in each corner there are eight corners in each corner we have one eighth of the atom and in the middle we have a big atom right so one eight times eight plus the middle one atom that gives us two atoms so there are two atoms per unit cell in a body centered cubic structure okay that's the first thing we had to know now from that one we can find out what is the mass is so for one unit cell one times there are two atoms in a unit cell two atoms per unit cell and uh, since we are dealing with titanium the atomic mass of the titanium is 47.867 atomic mass unit and titanium we are looking at one atom right so one atom let's write one atom titanium <coughs> one atom titanium and multiplied by if you want to convert this one into gram one amg is equal to 1.66 times 10 to the power of minus 24 gram so we have converted this one into gram we found out what is the mass is if you calculate like if you multiply all of this that's going to give us the mass but we looked that density is equal to mass over volume right it's here density is equal to mass over volume here we have the mass so we have to divide this one by the volume and since this is a cube we already look at that this one body centered cubic structure is a cube right we know the h length that is this length and for a cube the width length and the height is going to be equal so we can say v is equal to x cube right and we already know x is this value we just have to cube this one in order to find the volume but we have to divide this one by volume right here we have the mass but we have to divide this one by the volume in order to get the density so in order to divide what we are going to do is we are going to put one over this value 328 picometer cube in the denominator so in the way when we multiply it's going to divide because it's in the denominator right now it's better to convert this one into centimeter because the question is asking to give us the answer in grams per centimeter cube this is in gram now we have to convert this one into centimeter and uh, one picometer is equal to 10 to the power of minus 12 meter so one picometer is equal to 10 to the power of minus 12 meter since this is a cube i have to cube this one too and then one meter is equal to 100 centimeter right 100 centimeter i have to cube this one too now we have converted into gram per centimeter cube and if you calculate this one that's going to give you the final answer that is equal to 4.5 grams per centimeter cube and that's going to be the density and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope this helps thanks for watching